welcome back to another vlog guys uh it is an unusual uh starting of my vlog i think you guys saw a lot of clips before i started talking but we are on a family trip we are going to a coastal city it is called way high i have never been before uh, i have never been there before i have been to rujao chingtao uh haiyang all these coastal cities of china but uh, never been to way high it is like around 600 and something almost uh, 650 kilometers from our home i have driven like um, uh, 200 kilometers already and we are waiting and eating our lunch here as you can see musa is eating the sandwich which his mom has made at home very delicious sandwich i asked her to make it she makes a great sandwich so anyways we are just uh, resting a little bit we went to the toilet you know just freshen up eating our lunch and then we're gonna continue but the weather is terrible it's it's falling down very heavily as you guys can see but it is raining heavily i hope we can arrive there on time and safely uh let's see i'm not gonna vlog a lot because it's just the highway driving and you know it's it, it would uh uh it could get quite boring uh for uh, for the video you know i'm i'm enjoying the drive i'm listening to the music with my family and i'm just enjoying the drive but i don't think uh it looks uh interesting in the video so i'll 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 film some clips if there is something interesting but uh, mostly i think it's just highway driving so i'll see you guys uh when we arrive there and uh, we have some sur sur some small surprises in this vlog too maybe you have never seen them before maybe you have you have seen anyway stay tuned and i'll see you later this is your best friend when you are driving this much long and of course in a single day i want to be there before eight o'clock so you know this is your best friend i think somebody can relate uh and uh, these two cans are not both for me this is for wifey this is for me and yeah okay let's go and i'll see you guys in the next There's been an accident and I've seen, it's the second one I've seen today. Oh man, may God keep us all safe. Drive safe guys, drive safe. There is no need to hurry, especially in this kind of weather. And the three cars, three cars together. This one looks not, uh, that serious i've seen the uh a car just uh, oh this is also quite serious i mean look at this car it is just there is no need to hurry in this kind of weather guys the last uh, incident I saw, just like a uh, few kilometers before, that car, I mean, you couldn't recognize that uh, it was a car. But uh, I've seen the passengers, they were all standing on the side of the road, so thankfully they were all safe, but it was, it's just dangerous. Look at this weather. I mean, you shouldn't drive fast in this weather. I don't know why some people just, they can't control themselves. Anyways, Okay, let's hope we arrive to our we arrive at our destination safely. And uh, yeah.
are here on another service station. Uh, we are uh, still 160 kilometers away from our destination. We are staying here to just freshen up, get some rest, and uh, of course, go to the toilet. Yeah, let's go to the toilet. It's quite clean, it's quite clean. And I will show you guys this service station after I relieve myself because I really got up here. So what I wanted to show you guys is that this service station is in the middle of nowhere. I can't film outside. I can show you but I don't think it will capture well into the um, camera because it's raining, it's quite dark and it's like 7 o'clock this time. Uh, but uh, I mean the, as you can see it's clean, it's big and uh, there's a supermarket, there's a cafeteria, clean toilets, you, uh, they have massaging chairs. Uh, they have the resting area. They also have a small hotel if you want to sleep here in this uh, service station you can do that too. So what I wanted to share is that China um, is very good on construction. You know China uh, constructs or uh, builds stuff more than any other country in this world. I wanted to give you the example of this service area that look how big, how clean and it has all the facilities what you need and um, it is in the middle of nowhere and Chinese highways they go almost everywhere you know China builds I think I, I, I'm not sure I'm not sure you guys can do it on, on Google by yourself China builds more roads than the whole world combined in a single year so highways are clean they are uh, safe they are uh, I mean you even if you broke down they, there are uh, help facilities available I, I I love China it's just it's it's a fun place to be it's a safe place to be and yeah what would you want more like it's I can travel at 12 o'clock midnight on this highway and I wouldn't worry about it so yeah as you guys can see there is a small supermarket there there is a buffet so yeah that's how it is so yeah this is the service here. Look at how big it is. There is a petrol station there and uh, this is the parking and this is the building uh, which has all the facilities, facilities inside. It is uh, of course because of the corona you can't just uh, barge inside. You have to scan this code and then they'll let you in and you can do whatever you want. So yeah that's how it is guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it and if you do don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Yeah. Alright guys, we are here in Weihai city and we are going towards our hotel. The city looks big, clean and interesting. Okay, I gotta go. I can't just log, I gotta drive guys. And I have taken a wrong turn here. So I gotta take a U-turn. I'll see you guys later. Wifey went up to get us checked in and I'm just uh, standing here 
relaxing. Uh, it's quite windy. It was raining the whole day here too, and also all, all the way uh, on the way on the highway. Uh, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. I'm gonna make this uh, travel vlog in two or three parts because we're gonna spend like four days here. So I hope you guys like it. There will be a lot of food. There will be a lot of places in this in these travel vlog series uh, where we will travel way high. Uh, and uh, I hope you guys like it and if you do please like share and subscribe I know I haven't talked a lot in this vlog but uh, you guys get to see a lot of good views so this vlog I'm gonna end it here we drove 630 30 kilometers from Jinan to Weihai finally we are here after eight hours because we also you know on the way we we, we, uh, we had our lunch Musa do you like it we are in Weihai, right? Yes, Can you speak yes. English with them? We are in Weihai, right? Are you yes. hungry? Nah. He has been a good boy today because we drove like uh, for eight hours and he hasn't made any uh, troubles for us. He was very peaceful sitting behind. Uh, we, made a, we made a kind of, uh, uh, I mean, a uh, bed for him. So he has a pillow and a quilt here. So he was sleeping, then he was watching some uh, cartoons on his uh, pad. We had our lunch packed, made by wifey. As you guys know, uh, wifey made sandwiches and she also made some salad. So yeah, uh, I'm, I drove 600 kilometers, but I am literally not even a little bit tired cause we were happy, even though it was raining. So we couldn't see a lot on the way cause the, sky was quite quite dark lighting was not good that's why i didn't vlog a lot so anyways uh we enjoyed a lot and uh 600 kilometers in china it's nothing if you want to travel like uh, I, I wasn't uh, vlogging uh like two years before i just started vlogging two years before we went to sichuan aba that's a place it's like uh, the round trip was uh, six thousand kilometers and uh, we drove it that was that was a long trip so this 600 kilometers in china because china is a big city it actually it, it's quite normal to drive this much far to travel it's quite normal for chinese people they normally take the bullet trains to come but i personally like to drive i think driving and the fun you have on the way it's more fun uh on the way than to be on that destination very quickly but you know bullet train if if we took the train my heart my hand is so so if we took the bullet train we would be here in like two hours because bullet trains they are they are fast they go up to 400 kilometers per hour the speeds but by driving we enjoyed a lot we could stop wherever we want we could go wherever we go where we want so i think driving if you can look you know me personally i like driving i like cars i like driving so uh it, it wasn't a big deal for me anyways i hope uh, this corona uh virus goes away because you know today we came to uh we had they also checked a lot because we are not from this city and we are from this uh, because Weihai is still in shandong we, uh, jinan is the capital of shandong province so they haven't she'll be back she'll be back so they haven't checked that seriously but they did uh, stop us and checked our QR code and asked us where we, where we are gonna go and we have to uh, do the corona test every day uh, until we leave so every day we have to go to the test place and do the corona test here uh, this is a requirement for people who are coming to travel to way high uh, so I hope this coronavirus goes away so we can get back to normal and we can travel more freely. Anyways, I rambled a lot. I talked a lot. I, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. The wind is quite heavy. I hope you guys can hear me. Anyways, this vlog will end here. We will start a new vlog tomorrow and we'll see what we eat, what we do and where we go because I don't know uh, wifey. Uh, arranged everything uh, to go watch what we are gonna eat what we're gonna see she knows it all I don't know it too so I'll take you guys with me I hope you guys like it. and if you do please like and like share and subscribe and do let me know if you guys 
like these travel vlogs then we'll try to make more of them okay anyways good night from here good night from way high good night from china see you guys in the next vlog peace so guys we opted for this hotel it's uh, it doesn't have a window but it's cheap and it's clean so that's what we need because we are not gonna stay here the whole day we're just gonna come here and sleep we have an air conditioner so we have a tv okay we have we have wi-fi and we have uh, all the necessary things like a kettle and whatnot and we have a toilet too there wife is in the toilet so i'm not gonna go inside anyways this is our hotel room so this is my dinner beef rice okay. with some soup